Hi everybody, welcome back to Chiquelle's YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and I am here today to talk about some toppers. I know I neglect my topper friends. I'm so sorry, I'm really sorry, but I'm here with toppers. I have two toppers that I want to compare with you, um, for you, sorry. Also, how many times have I said toppers in the first like 10 seconds of this video? Oh my gosh, uh, let's play a game. How many times do I say toppers this whole video? <laughs> Put it in the comments. Just kidding. Or not. You can if you want. Play the game if you want. Anyways, before I start, oh gosh, before I start, I want to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can learn even more about alternative hair. Okay, so the two toppers that I want to show you guys today are lace front toppers. So one of them is by Bellatress and it's called Lace Front Mono Top Wave. And this is the 14 inch version. Um, it also comes in a straight version as well. And I also want to show you Top Billing by Raquel Welch. And this is just their straight 12 inch version. Um, I'm going to show you guys these two because they are quite similar. Um, so let me just dive in and start showing you guys how they are. <laughs> so this is a full mono top lace front topper. So a lace front topper technically would be most ideal for someone who's experiencing thinning more at the front of their um, hair here and where they want to replace their hairline. So if you don't have a lot of hair at the front or if you have a receding hairline and you would like more hair there to create the illusion of another hairline, then a lace front topper would be your best bet. That's not to say that you can't wear a lace front topper if you have hair there, you sure can. Um, but this would be most ideal for someone who doesn't have that hair in the front. So that lace front here is going to act as a new hairline. And I'll show you that by putting that on my own head in a minute. Um, all of this monofilament section on here, it's a lace like material. <coughs> it allows you to part it in any direction you want. And it gives you that illusion of scalp right from your hairline. I don't know if you hear that banging, but um, my neighbors are <laughs> getting their carpets redone. So there's like a lot of construction nearby and um, there's a lot of banging. So sorry if that comes into play here. <laughs> okay, so lace front, full mono top, full parting versatility, illusion of scalp. Um, and then plus we have a few rows of wefting along the perimeter here. So this topper here is six and a half inches wide by six inches long. So it does have four pressure sensitive clips here. You'll need to make sure that you kind of measure your head and make sure that you have enough bio hair in the spots where these clips are. So like I said, it's six and a half inches wide. I would measure underneath or less than that around six inches to make sure that these clips are gonna clip into some healthy bio hair there, as well as six inches um, in length. <laughs> so these clips here, they just easily clip open and close. They're really easy to use. Um, I wish I had my own hair to show this to you, but I, I do not. Okay, let me show you these wefts here. There's, um, often when there is wefting, you're gonna find a little bit of permatees. In this particular one, there's like, such a minuscule amount, you probably wouldn't even notice it's even there, to be honest with you. It is just so minuscule. I would almost say there is none. Um, I'm going to put this on for you and show you. So again, this is the Lace Front Mono Top Wave 14 inch by Bellatress. Oh, that was a mouth mouthful. <laughs> um, this particular topper in this particular cap um, also comes in a lace front mono top wave 18 inch. It also comes in a straight 14 inch version and a straight 18 inch version. Plus it also comes in a really short six inch version. So you do have options with this cap. And also just know that if something is too long for you, you can absolutely cut it, take it to a stylist, get them to cut it. And in fact, I even recommend that mostly, especially with toppers, because you'll have your own hair underneath and having a stylist cut that for you to help blend it into your own hair um, is gonna be something that will help make it look even more seamless and natural. Okay, let me show you this lace front. So this is the lace front here. Of course, when you have um, lighter fibers like this particular one here, you're not gonna see the knotting very much, which is really nice. It gives a more natural appearance. 
Um, I must say that Bellatress's heat defiant fibers and this one in particular are so soft. It feels so nice. And this is actually a really cute style. I would totally get this as a wig <laughs> if they had this exact version. The density on this um, is really, it's a really quite natural and light density. So you're not going to feel like there's too much on your head. Here's the coverage. <coughs> It feels quite lightweight on my head here. Let me show you the part line. So again, with a lighter fiber, you're not gonna see the knotting quite as much. Oh, and I should mention, I am wearing the color Cream Soda Blonde right now. So it's a nice sort of neutral to ash tone. You can see kind of both tones within there. And there is of course no rooting on this color. Okay, let me show you guys now top billing by Raquel Welch. This is gonna be almost identical. Um, one of the big differences is, differences is, <laughs> differences. One of the biggest differences is, why does that sound weird to say? One of the biggest differences is <laughs> that the top on this one is gonna be a little bit bigger. And then from front to back, we have 6.75 inches on top billing, whereas on the lace front mono top, it's just six inches. So very similar in size, but top billing is gonna be just a little bit bigger. All right, a similarity between these two is that they're both made with heat defiant fibers. So you can use heating tools on both of these to either straighten it or curl it. Um, which is really great, especially since you're integrating it into your own hair. It's kind of nice to be able to use heating tools on it. Um, another similarity we have is that it's a lace front. So the lace front, of course, is most ideal for someone who's experiencing that thinning at the front of their hairline or has that receding hairline. But like I said earlier, it doesn't mean that you can't wear a lace front topper if you have more hair at the front. Also, another similarity is they both have full monofilament tops. So with top billing in my hand here, you are able to part it anywhere within that monofilament. I'll show you better when I put it on my head. This one also has some rows of wefting around the outside here. I'm going to take this one off and show you. <clears throat> you can compare. So if you look at them, lace front mono top 14 inch one this here has I think just one more row of wafting than um, top billing um, but either way you can check them out and they are an extremely similar topper I would say that on top billing the monofilament top section does look a little bit bigger than your um, Bellatress one if you can see I don't know if you can see but it does look just a touch bigger um, I'm going to go ahead and put this one on for you guys so you can see. Top billing here, I have this in the color RL8-29 Hazelnut, which is a nice medium brown color with some sort of gingery highlighting throughout it. Alrighty, so on this one, I'll show you the lace front. Raquel Welch always does an excellent job of the lace front. I very rarely have any complaints about their lace front. And then here is your monofilament top. So again, you can part it wherever you want. That's what you're gonna see. Lots of versatility in styling with that lace front and mono top. In terms of density between these two pieces, they are quite similar. I might say that top billing has like a touch higher density, but it's not too different in my opinion. The fibers on Bella Tresses compared to top billings are a little bit softer as well. So like I mentioned earlier, I really love Bella Tresses um, heat friendly fibers. They're just so soft and buttery feeling. <laughs> Let me show you the coverage on this one. I do love how on top billing, you have these shorter pieces in the front. So it gives you a little bit of a curtain bang potentially here. You could also go ahead and bring these forward and cut them into a bang. Um, 
don't be afraid to make changes to this. You can absolutely cut them and do what you want with it. Um, but in terms of the style comparison here, the lace front mono top Bella Tress doesn't have the shorter pieces in the front. Um, they're gonna be more, all more one length. Um, the really great thing about top billing is that it comes in a bunch of different lengths. So this one is the 12 inch version and it's heat defined fibers, of course. This also comes in an 18 inch version. It also comes in a wavy 14 inch version. It also comes newly, there's a new five inch version. So a new shorter top billing um, version that you can take a look at. Plus top billing also comes in a 16 inch human hair option. So there are so many options with this incredible cap here. But again, like I said, you can cut them to help them blend even more into your own bio hair. So with these two toppers, this is ideal, like I mentioned, for someone who's experiencing thinning at the front, um, a receding hairline, but also someone who's going through maybe mid stages of hair loss, who's lost, you know, a good chunk of hair on the top, but has the ability to still clip in. Um, if you are going through severe hair loss and have a ton of thinning on top and mostly just hair on the sides, this might not be enough for you. Um, if you are only experiencing a little bit of hair loss in your part line, this might be too much for you, but that's not to say you couldn't wear this. You absolutely could still wear this, even if you're experiencing a little thinning, because maybe you just want an extra boost in volume and this could do that for you too. But ideally, this could be for someone who's in the mid stages of hair loss around the top of their head. But like I mentioned earlier too, make sure you're measuring so that these pressure sensitive clips are going to latch on to um, some healthy bio hair. Overall, you can't really go wrong with these two pieces. These are two really nice options, um, really realistic options as well. The only thing that I might just warn you about with lace front toppers is that sometimes you might find the lace front to lift a little bit because you don't have the tension around your head like you would with a wig to sort of pull that lace down. You of course have the clips here to pull it and tighten it, but sometimes that might you know, ride up a bit, or you might not clip it as far as you can, which might then cause your lace to, you know, do a little bit of lifting. Um, however, as long as you are trying your best to clip it in to that healthy bio hair, it should be sitting just fine on your head there. Now, the only thing that I would just make sure you note with these lace front toppers is that I mentioned now a few times that um, this would work for someone who has a receding hairline or thin hair at the front. However, that being said, just note that these two clips here on the sides are up front. So if you don't have enough hair here up front, you might not be able to use these clips. Um, you could always try taking them out and moving and sewing them back here a little bit and maybe even using tape or adhesive on your lace. Um, but just note that make sure you are measuring around your front section here to make sure you do have enough hair to clip in if you want to use those clips. All right, with that, I'm gonna head out, you guys. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight on the differences between Top Billing by Raquel Welch and the Lace Front Mono Top um, version by Bella Tress. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, of course, these come in lots of different lengths and styles for you to choose from with this same cap option. And you are more than welcome to go ahead on to Chiquelle.com to check them out. Um, Chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada or Chiquelle.com.au if you are in Australia. But for now, I am going to head out and I hope you guys have a really wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.